Welcome back to Dominion League action. Season 23 here starts against Mike Chike, who we played in the last season. Anyways, looking at the board, I noticed Peasant straight away, and there are a few piles which could make very good use of your tokens. Immediately, I was looking at Artificer, Beaker, and Storyteller. The Legionary Attack would be nice to get in. You do need a gold for it, however, there is some penalty for gold on the board and silver in the form of banded fort, something to keep in mind. There's also orchard, so I was also looking at a bunch of action piles for orchard, artificers, bakers, secret passages. Very easy to get three copies of those and very helpful for your deck as well. Uh, another thing that crossed my mind looking at the board is perhaps it was possible to do something with poor house. Perhaps the artificers can discard your coppers and then you could reveal poor house for maximum value. Maybe. But we'll see how things go. As for the beginning, I really would like Storyteller and Peasant. The Storyteller helps to accelerate the Peasant upgrades a lot. Because once you see the Storyteller, you're drawing two or three cards with it, almost guaranteed, especially if you open with it. So we both open the same way here. Storyteller and Peasant going for the rapid Peasant upgrades. Now 4 and 2 buys here means that I pick up a Secret Passage. Now this is a card that I initially overlooked when thinking about what pile do I want to put my Teacher tokens on. However, it is going to be very very influential here. So my opponent plays his Storyteller and a Peasant and that's very good for him to see it before the shuffle, right? Triggering the shuffle for me here is pretty nice because I get to make two estates miss, which means I might get to five again with the remaining cards that I have in my deck. Five is pretty important here because, like I said, I was more attracted by the artificers and the bakers to put tokens on. So I would really like to get at least one or two copies of those before I have teacher. So the, I don't come up with 5 on that turn, I come up with 4 only and Secret Passage again seems like the best choice. It does find me my Fugitive and not only does it find me my Fugitive but what I can do here if I want is discard the Storyteller and get my 5 cost. Or I can discard a Copper and use the Storyteller to draw through almost to the end of my deck here which is excellent. I do have a bit of money left over here. And I pick up a second Peasant. The Disciples are brilliant cards, especially on a board where you want to gain lots of action cards because of Orchard. So, where possible, I'll try to go for as many Disciples as possible here. Anyway, so here now, so far we've been doing fairly reasonable things and I think soon I'll start to depart from that trend. Not my opponent, just me here. As is, I also have a bit of a lead in the development, in the upgrades rather, of the one peasant that we started with. My disciple is here already and I think my opponent is only now on fugitive. So really things are looking real nice for me at this point in time, especially being able to put my disciple on this secret passage. Now I have three of them, and here I could have picked up a fourth one, which would have been a fine choice. It is not a bad pile at all to have one of your teacher tokens on. Instead, instead I went for another peasant here. I didn't want the secret passage because I felt like I had enough in my deck, but that really is faulty thinking because I did not entertain enough thought of putting a token down on the secret passage and secret passage is actually a very very good pile not only before uh, not only for after teacher but also before teacher meaning it can help you accelerate those peasant upgrades so what will happen is that you will have a lot of those in your deck while you're upgrading your peasants and then you'll get to teacher and then you have four or five of the secret passages in your deck you can easily put whatever you like on it. And here, this is the worst play of the match. I buy a silver wanting to buy a 5 cost, a bit too fixated on the 5 cost, completely blanking on the fact that I lose 2 points, or I take negative 2 points for that silver. 
I realized shortly after and I was looking for ways to trash that silver. There are no ways to trash that silver on the board. I have saddled myself with a yellow curse, a yellow double curse. And now I have to deal with that for the rest of the game. That being said, I am a little bit ahead on the peasant stuff, so perhaps I can compensate for my horrible, horrible mistake of picking up a silver. I'm going to turn down the peasant there because I feel like I have too many terminals in my deck. And with the teacher down, what I am going to do here now is put the plus cards on the secret passage. That is the action card that I have the most of in my deck. So I will get the most draw from it right away. It's a tempo thing, a time thing, right? At this point in time in my deck, I have a lot of secret passages. So I think that I can make um, the most use of putting the plus cards on it if I had more bakers. Artificers gladly, gladly, especially an artificer plus card on artificer is something that I was really, really looking forward to. But because of the constraints on the board, not being able to buy silver, for example, well, not not being able to, but a deterrent to buying silver meant that it was very difficult to get to five, but not so difficult to get to four. Four was actually very easy to get to, especially once you get secret passages rolling. So now on 8, I do pick up an Artificer with the increased amount of draw in my deck. Hopefully, I can start to make it do some work for me. However, my opponent is catching up here and I worry that he is able to take the last two Secret Passages. No, he's not going to take the last two Secret Passages. Instead, he picks up an Altar. He might have considered picking up a Secret Passage there just to deny me from having the secret passages but he goes for the artificer instead and luckily instead sorry and luckily i'm able to find my artificer to be able to pick up the final two secret passages so we share those five each i suppose here's where the silver comes into play but no that really should not have been purchased at all i could have just passed and that would have been much better instead of buying a silver so the two points are glaring at me right now. My opponent has seven. I have five. The only difference is the silver that I voluntarily put into my deck. So I really lost my way in the middle of this game, picking up the peasant a little bit too early instead of a secret passage. And that may have been okay, recoverable, but the silver was just very, very, very bad very bad and it will come back to haunt me in the remainder of this game we'll have a look and see here so now my opponent actually has <laughs> i think a better deck than me at this point he has a couple disciples i don't think i have two disciples i think i just have the one disciple and a fugitive here and he has an artificer as well so he is looking in very very good shape here however he has just put down his teacher, I believe. So again, I'm still ahead on the um, on making use of my teacher, but I haven't been making very good use of it, to be perfectly honest with you. So I am able to find the disciple with the artificer here, and after a bit of juggling, I eventually managed to pick up a five course thing with this artificer. I really like artificer, and with the kind of draw that we have here i feel like it can do work we have well i have secret passage for draw as well as storyteller so um there is no shortage of draw even if you didn't get as many secret passages as you would like there's storyteller regardless of teacher token or not to increase your hand size so here i like this play a lot from what i did here i managed to gain a tactician and i'm gonna put it into play this turn triggering that shuffle there is somewhat questionable i know there is an artificer there so i was somewhat look, hoping to find it i didn't realize there were so many junk cards but i didn't really have a problem triggering the shuffle knowing that i would put a tactician into play now the reason for the tactician is the artificer with the increased hand size the artificers are going to as they say in trinidad make the name they're going to put in a lot of work i feel the five secret passages that I have, they cannot draw the entire deck or they cannot get as much draw as I would like for the artificers to put in work. So 
tactician is going to rectify that for me in the meantime my opponent is able to call their teacher doing the same as me getting the plus cards on the secret passage here and being able to disciple an artificer so here now they go for the poor house play so this is something i thought of at the beginning of the game doing something with poor house and artificer but i got confused about what about what poor house did i thought that you shouldn't have any treasures in play but really poor house says you shouldn't have treasures in hand so i see my opponent here what he's doing he's making use of both storyteller to get treasures out of his hand and artificer to get treasures out of his hand thereby enabling his poor houses to give him maximum value so he has a couple of those now and our third one at the top of his deck here giving him the orchard points of course and there you go lots and lots of money and this seems to be a decent thing to do on this board the poor house really <laughs> you pay one dollar for four dollars for four coin rather that's that's tremendous so on 10 and 2 buys, goes for another artificer as well as another storyteller. The storyteller uh, gets him another set of orchard points there. And he takes quite a handsome lead over me at this point. But not to worry, I will be stocking up on the orchard points soon enough. So now, I believe here is where we enter a series uh, of long turns. Not a series, two long turns, right? One long turn for me here. And another long turn for my opponent. So here some deliberation over what to do with this teacher token I eventually decide to put plus coins on the artificer to get a little bit more money I know that I have a peasant in my deck so I can have up to three buys perhaps I could make use of it so now I start going after the poor houses this is my um, play here as well and I'm going to try to just empty my hand of treasures at this point so that the poor houses can give me full value so here you see a lot of overdraw at this point and this is what artificer likes so now at this point i start thinking about whether or not it is possible for me to end the game i didn't think it all the way through but i decided to go after the artificers a bit heavily here because I didn't really want to give my opponent too many artificers and artificers are worth a lot of money for me here now they're worth two dollars in addition to the gain in ability so i start to go after them a little bit aggressively here the more i go after them is the more i start to wonder whether or not i have a pile out here is it possible for me to pile i still have quite a bit of draw here the three secret passages i have some buys to be able to buy things perhaps 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 it's two artificers and four poor houses left in the pile now the points difference is something to take into consideration i am six points behind meaning i need to purchase province estate for example or get orchard points from somewhere else so i thought about a few things here maybe triple peasants so i need to get two more peasants that would get me four points and then i just need a duchy in addition to the piles well, that doesn't really help me with emptying the piles, right? I already have orchard points from both the artificers and the poor houses. So at this point in the turn, I thought that I didn't have a win here. So I just decided to draw everything up with the secret passages and make use of my artificers for money. But upon further inspection here, I realized that I could have used these remaining artificers to gain three poor houses rather used one of the artificers to gain another artificer discarding five coppers i know the top two cards are estates because of secret passage and then use these remaining artificers to gain three poor houses which would be very easy you discard each of the three estates you get poor houses leaving one artificer one poor house in the pile i would have three buys and i would be able to purchase artificer poor house province for the win but Guess who bought a silver and gave himself negative two points? So there, there you have it. The silver cost me a win on that turn. Instead, I had to go for what I felt was my next best play. Well, not next best play, but best play in that position, which was to grab as many points as possible. I managed to get up to triple province and I take it. So my opponent now needs 13 points to win. And... 
from how he started playing this turn here, I thought, I thought that he ran out of actions or didn't have enough plus buy to make it work for him. He didn't have any benefit from his teacher at this point. So I thought at this point that perhaps I might have a chance if I could um, have a decent turn here. I only have the Artificer to draw me into one card, so maybe I might stall out here. But here he gains a couple poor houses, which means if he doesn't take over me on points on this turn, I will win gaining poor house, buying poor house. So he has to do it, and I was keeping very, very close watch on what he had in his hand, and I didn't think he could do it. He has a peasant remaining, he has an artificer remaining. Um, the most I could see him doing is province and duchy and not being able to empty the piles. I didn't really see a win here for him, but but my opponent has a sneaky. I didn't see it at all coming. In fact, I thought I won this game for most of the match until we discussed the score somewhere in the middle. I didn't see it coming at all. He has a se sneaky secret resource here that allows him to come out with the win. And he told me after the match that he only recognized it at the end of his turn. And the resource that he comes up with here is to convert his two disciples into teachers to get him an extra four points from the orchard. That is not something that crossed my mind. At all. I could have also done that on my turn, but one, I didn't think of it. Two, even if I thought of it, I perhaps would not have gone for it, liquidating those valuable assets so early is what I would have felt. But he is able to pick up um, the win here. I think he gets the last two poor houses off Artificer gains. I'm not sure how he piles out here, but he is able to pile out the poor houses and convert disciples into teachers for four points and then pick up our province. So yeah, here goes the two poor houses and the convert.